Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Erica. For those of you that don't know me, I am here today to show you my eyeshadow palette collection. But first, you should hit subscribe, turn on notification bells, like this video, comment, all that good stuff. Um, let's just get into the video. I don't know what else to say. So, first let's start. I'm going to go in order here of when I got them. So, the OG of the first the Kat Von D shade and light palette. This was my first high-end eyeshadow palette. I got it last year and I have hit pan in two of the shades. I did like this palette when I first bought it. It was perfect for starting out and doing just basic looks. Now I don't get as much use out of it because I have some other palettes that I think are a little bit more fun, but this is a good basics palette for anyone that needs that. The next palette I have in my collection is the Classic Modern Renaissance palette. I have this palette in my Project Pan going right now. I have also hit pan on two of these shades in here. I got this last year also, and it has served me well. But again, I have other palettes that I think complement my eyes better. So also I feel like this, it had its time. It was a talked about palette, it had its time. I don't think you need to run out and buy it right this second though. It's kind of, it's kind of, there's better things coming out now. Not like the quality's not good, but I don't think everyone is looking for this concept anymore. The next eyeshadow palette I have purchased for my collection is the Dream Street palette. Now I know a lot of people said they love this palette. I don't think I share the same love for that. Um, it's kind of been hard to get myself to use it. I thought I would really like it because I was looking for something different than these two. And this is different from what I have in that other two, but I just think it's hard for me to reach for some of these. I definitely bought it because I thought it looked pretty and I thought the colors were gorgeous, but I have to say I don't reach for it as much as I thought I would. All right, so this is a long but funny story. So I got this for graduation and then I went to my grandma's house and I lost it. I don't know what happens, but I've lost my milk makeup sunshine skin tint i've lost the milk makeup baked matte bronzer there i've lost some other makeup there i don't know what it is every time i go to her house i lose my makeup and i've never lost makeup before so i had this palette i lost it there couldn't find it so then it went on sale and i purchased it again and i think it's one of those things where you're like you remember what was and i used to love wearing this shade and this shade together like every day every day I would wear those and I'm just not that person anymore. So do I kind of regret getting this one again? Yeah, because it is kind of similar to these two. Like I have these kind of all are the same color story, but this is a classic. I think you can get some good looks out of this. I do think I will get some good use out of it though. Um, but this is the second time buying it and I think I liked it better the first time I had it, so. I feel like this video just sounds like I'm like, man, I hate all my eyeshadow palettes. And I'm like, no, I'm very grateful to have them. But there are some that, you know, you outgrow. It's been a year. They've been in my collection for a little bit. And I'm ready. I'm a big girl now. I can wear different colors. So, yay. The next one I picked up, because I wanted all those different colors, was this one. The classic Take Me to Brazil palette. Now, this looks absolutely destroyed because my boyfriend got into it when he was helping me practice for my EMT test. He used it to create some blood and scars and stuff to help me practice for my EMT testing. But I bought this palette. I'm glad I got it on sale. I bought this palette for like $6 and I did a look with it once and I've been too scared to use it since then. Um, if you guys have tips, tricks, like just anything to help me get into color, I just feel like I look so bad. Like I can't do color looks. So I think that's why I've been scared of this palette is because I'm just so scared of color because I feel like it just makes me, I, I can't do colorful looks. So if you have any tips, tricks, let me know, please. Because I would love to get some more use out of this because even though I did get it on sale and it was only $6, you know, like you can be so creative and fun with this. So if you guys want to like see a one face, one palette, one palette I look multiple I don't know if you want to see something with this palette let me know is what I'm trying to say okay so this palette actually I didn't pick up it was kind of sent to me in my fab fit 
fun box. It is the Tartiste Pro to Go palette and it is a tiny itty bitty mini. And I didn't get to pick this out. It was, it was sent to me in the box that I ordered, but um, again, I just think I do like this purple called Dominate and then the gold hype is beautiful, but I have like all these shades basically. Except for that. I do not think I own that in my collection. Um, but, you know, it's a mini. I don't know. On the go. Maybe to travel. But I don't travel that much. So, would I recommend you go out and just purchase this? No. Man, it just sounds like I don't like any of my eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> and that is not the case. I love doing my eyeshadow. And I love the palettes. I love using my Modern Renaissance. I just think... I'm in a transition phase where I'm like, I'm looking for my next thing, which is bad. The next eyeshadow palette I got for my collection is the Be A Mermaid and Make Waves palette. This is a gorgeous palette. It is different from anything in my collection. And I'm glad I picked this up. The colors do tend to fade, but I like this. And I might do some looks with this because I disagree with every influencer that says, Oh, I try not to use things that are were limited edition you can't get anymore. And I'm like, well, what about the people that bought those things? Because I don't have every eyeshadow palette they have for tutorials, like whether it's permanent or not. I don't have like every single eyeshadow palette. So like if people, if a lot of people went out and bought this, because you know, people do reviews on these limited edition collections when they come out and they go and buy those based on the reviews those influencers put out. So I think you should continue and, you know, at least put up an eye tutorial or something. You know, I don't think it's bad to use limited edition products because people do purchase those products and not everyone can purchase every single product. So there's always going to be people that don't have products from your videos. So I will do an eye look at this with this palette at some point. And the newest palette to my collection, which you guys have heard me talk about so many times, is the Tarte Sizzle palette. I love this palette. I use my fingers to apply it and it is so easy. I love this. I'm not sure if I'd pick up any of the other Rainforest of the Sea palettes because like I said, they do have a similar color story to all my other kind of neutral brown palettes, but I'm glad I purchased this because it has become a favorite in my collection. But anyway, you guys, that is going to complete the video today. Like I said, I don't have a super extensive, oh, I don't have a super extensive eyeshadow palette collection. So if that's what you're looking for, it's not here. So I'm sorry. Anyway, you guys, you should hit that subscribe button down below and like this video and leave me comments and all those good things. But I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.